Hi there, I'm Brad Gilbert with FX Market Insight for Wednesday, the 7th of April. All right, now let's just have a look where the uh, North American finished, North American session, I should say. The uh, equities just down a little bit. If anything, that's pretty much flat in my eyes. Uh, we did see some uh, bit of wild price action and the, and the treasuries are sort of moving around a bit. At the moment, right right now, they are uh, the price is off a touch, which means higher yields. You'd expect the... Uh, with high yields, the equity markets to come off, but the futures are actually going up, right? So that's a little bit of a discombobulation at this point. Now, but the main theme is, right? We've got a, a weaker dollar, right? So you've come back to uh, the situation. So don't get sucked into the risk on risk off profile. You'd think here with a risk off with the equity slightly lower, you'd see, um, you know, the dollar block fall and the dollar rally. Well, that's not the case. Right, we're coming back to sort of, uh, well, as I said, a bit of discombobulation. The US Treasuries, uh, the yields have been sort of falling a bit, even though they aren't just at the moment. And that's been the main catalyst for that weaker dollar. So just coming over to the major pairs, and I, and I was saying this yesterday, um, uh, the currencies were in a bit of no man's land, right? The, you had uh, a lot of these currencies sort of, you know, above levels, I'm going to blow that Kiwi back up. But really, the dollar was the one that was going to be falling, right? Looking for levels to get short dollars. It's very hard at the start of the week, especially after a big, long Easter uh, holiday period, Friday, Monday, to get aggressively into the currencies. But we are seeing weakness in the dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss, and the dollar index itself. Euro went on with it. But I tell you what, it was pretty tricky for, um, for other pairs uh, going on this as well. You can see... The discombobulation here with uh, sterling, once again, that euphoria around the vaccine rollout in the UK, it's, it's, it's like a massive geopolitical bubble around the UK at the moment. That's why we're seeing a bit of weird price action. But you come back and look at uh, Aussie, I tell you what, it, it pushed to the downside, a good clean out and then came back. Same with, uh, same with the Kiwi, if I just blow that up. Um, and so this, this tells me a couple of things. And, and this is what you're trying to identify when you come back to the screens each day is, have we got really good normal market conditions? I'd say probably not. Like this sort of price action is not cool, right? I could see Euro had the, the potential chance to go up to 120, but we're in no man's land. So you're almost waiting to see what, what happens. And if you don't, well, you can end up getting into a trade uh, like the Aussie and Kiwi here, if I just bring this back up. Like the Aussie and Kiwi looked exactly like Euro to me, although the Euro was much higher. You think this would hold, but that's gone through like almost 50 points, right? That's a massive clean out to the downside. So if you got long looking for the move up, you're uh, in trouble. Now, also just remember this about the Kiwi. They've just changed the housing rules, right? So there's an underlying, so the, the Kiwi will go up slower than the other pairs because of the change in the tax around the housing to slow that housing market down. It's going to slow economic growth, et cetera, as well. So that's what's going to hold the Kiwi back. And the Aussie, where well, we had the RBA yesterday, no major changes. But this slide down here in um, uh, Sterling was enough to kick out some longs, some, some really weak longs, and it's back up again. So anyway, this isn't great price action, and you can't take a lot of confidence out of that. If anything, I look at Euro and go, yeah, this is great. It's doing exactly what I wanted, but I was looking to get long back down sort of towards here. I mean, 180 in the figure seemed logical, but as I said, at the end of a, of a holiday week, especially Monday, you'd expect this thing to drift a little bit lower first and then up. So even though we're seeing that the markets are doing what we think, we, we haven't got really good trade setups. If anything, the only two that were sort of close were dollar Swiss and uh, the dollar index you know, basically trading pip for pip. Um, but once again, coming in out of a month, Easter Monday, it's pretty hard to get excited. And to me, the dollar yen, well, it's just drifted down through these levels, probably trade sideways from here. You'd expect uh, oil to come off from, I mean, sorry, oil. Dollar CAD to come off, but oil is weakening and that's putting upward pressure on dollar CAD. So across the board here, we've got really tricky um my, or conditions technically, right? We're starting to see when you come back and look at the, the main aspects of the fundamentals, right? Whether we're looking at say the equity markets or the, the price of the treasury yields, which has been dominating the market and then trying to work out what's going on with the major pairs. It's not as simple as you think, 
right? So to me, right now, the markets are discombobulating across the board with equities, treasuries. Uh, the dollar is going lower with those uh, lower yields. If that, if the price is full of those US treasuries again, the yields will bounce back and we're gonna be back with the dollar bouncing back. So not as clear and as gorgeous as it has been the past week or so. Right, that's the main theme to take out of it. So when you're looking for opportunities, of, of course, come back and have a look at the, uh, the main fundamental data and see where the market will be focusing on, okay, for potential momentum coming through the week. And then you've got to come back to your charts and really sort of map out where the best opportunity here is across the board um, for you to be getting into an actual trade. At the moment, like Sterling is like a dog's breakfast. Um, I'll be getting rid of some of these trend lines. And uh, the Aussie, well, clean out to the downside. That's going to confuse things. I still like the dollar lower, but getting in is problematic at, at the moment, right? Because there's, there's a bit too much happening and the, you, you don't have the centralized price action or momentum across the board on, say, treasuries or equ equities to give traders the confidence all at once to get into trading opportunities. If anything, you know, look at the dollar index. It's a good example of what's going on. And it has been trading technically very well. I've left all these trend lines here. We had the, uh, the move down, this resistance line acting gorgeously. You can see the discombobulation here around the, or the barroom brawl around the, the previous support. Uh, it holds as resistance. And then you've got the, the previous support line acting as resistance. So basically, technically, do, the dollar index is behaving very well. Keep an eye on 92.50 is, is where I'm getting to. And that's what you've got to look forward to. And you know what? To match this picture of uh, a little bit of uncertainty across the board here, if you have a look at the news, you can always sort of tell when there's uncertainty because a lot of the news services will say, yeah, the current move is profit taking, right? That's their excuse for when they don't know what the hell is going on. And right now, the treasuries are, are in limbo and that's causing a bit of the equity markets to be in limbo and the major currency pairs as well, right? If anything, this is a good, good clean out of dollar longs uh, and we're looking for uh, lower levels. Am I as confident as yesterday in the dollar weakness? Probably not so much, but I still think we'll still see further dollar weakness, but probably not as hard. I wanna see a bit more around what these um, US treasuries are doing before I sort of start throwing some larger positions around, all right? So North American session is still the key. Keep an eye on your, your cash right now for the Asian session. If anything, if I had to put my uh, dollars into the into the box, US equity futures are going up. You've got to think that's going to push the dollar block. Euro, sterling, Aussie, Kiwi up and give the dollar a little bit of weakness going through that Asian session. And we'll, we'll refresh once that North American session starts again. All right, guys, sorry I don't have easier, simpler solutions for you today, but hang in there. I'm sure they're not too far away. Have a good one. Cheerio.